on a lovely piece of promotion from people from all over the UK. So we've got two more little things here. I'm going to introduce them now. Is that working now? Yes. Right. Sorry about that. Right, these two ladies have got to go. Leave at one o'clock. They're going to explain this at 38 degrees, and they're going to explain why they're here and why all of us women are working together in solidarity. Thank you so much everyone. Can I firstly say thank you to Gina, Tina and Barbara and for all of you. Uh, it's so inspirational to be here with all of these women dressed as suffragettes. Um, firstly, I wanted to talk quickly about fracking. Uh, so I'm from 38 Degrees, the organisation, um, and for the last few years, two million people have been involved in fracking campaigns, whether that's stopping fracking in Scotland by exposing the damage that it will give to the uh, whiskey trade and to the natural economy. So right now, thousands of people writing to their MPs to stop fracking being as easy as putting on a kitchen extension. It's disgusting. Now, the other reason why we're here today, and as you can see, I'm dressed as a suffragette, is because the basically the suffragettes are being threatened here in Parliament. In fact, if you just look over there, you'll see when you go around the corner, there is a statue, an 88-year-old statue of Emmeline Pankhurst, one of the leading suffragettes that we're all dressed like. Um, and there's one man, a man called Neil Thorne, he wants to move that statue out of Parliament, and he wants to put that... Indeed. And he wants to put that statue in a private university where it won't be seen. Jackie, who is here, give Jackie a round of applause. Yay! Set up a petition to tell Westminster Council that that's not good enough. Women's voices need to be heard in Parliament. They need to be heard on issues like fracking, and we need to honour the suffragettes. So today at 1.30, we're going over to Westminster Council to hand in a petition of almost 180,000 people who say, please don't move Emmeline Pankhurst. Now I'm going to pass you on to the real heroine of this story, which is Jackie, to tell you a little bit more. Hello, good to see you all and I really congratulate you on everything you're doing today. Uh, let's take it to Mark. Okay, can you accept it, sir? Okay, alright. Yay! Okay, I really congratulate you on everything you're doing today. About a month ago, I was sitting up in bed, scrolling through the Guardian on a Sunday morning and saw this article about the proposal to move Emily Pankhurst's statue from beside Parliament. She currently stands there alongside the end of the parliamentary estate, which is where she belongs. And I was absolutely furious that they were thinking about trying to move her and into a private American university in Regent's Park. So I was a member of 38 Degrees, I got on my phone and set up the petition. There were a few typos, but um, Monday morning Georgie rang me and we went on from there. And I strongly believe that Emily Pankhurst deserves to be there. They wouldn't put her in Parliament Square, so don't move her from next to Parliament. She fought and all the other women fought and suffered and were tortured for us to have the vote today. So, solidarity, please keep Emily Pankhurst where she belongs, alongside the parliamentary estate. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.